Uh, this model kit review is of the 1968 Dodge Charger. And you've got two options to build here. This is a 125th scale model uh, by Ravel. Look at some pictures of the finished model here, they look quite nice. Uh, here are the dimensions and some details about the car. And the same pictures, there's some more pictures there. Shows you the different options that you can build. Very nice looking. And let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Lots and lots of screws. Okay, so first of all, here we've got our tires. These are made out of vinyl. We've got, uh, I guess you could do all four tires with these ones, or uh, you could do the larger ones here for the back. Nice looking. Here we've got some chrome parts here for looks like probably our um, wheels. And there are the other wheels there. We've got some engine parts here. More engine parts there. And uh, air intake. And here we've got our glass. So we've got our um, windshield. Rear, rear, uh, rear windshield, and then some lights. Let's have a look over here. We've got some more chrome parts. We've got our bumper and uh, front grille. The RT, just we can just barely see it there. We've got some more uh, wheel options there, and uh, some emblems, there's the RT there, some more engine parts, windshield wipers, stick shift, uh, rear view mirror, more engine parts, and so on. Over here you can see our body shell. There it is. That's very nicely molded. Put some details here around the uh, doors and engine bay. That is very nicely molded. Here's our uh, chassis and floor pan. Actually, this is the floor pan here. Uh, there's the tunnel for our um, uh, for the drive shaft, we've got uh, the doors inside, our seats. Again, nice detail there and nicely molded. Here's our chassis here. And uh, again, some nice detail there. And uh, our fuel tank. We've got uh, seats, that's the front, there's the back of the seats. It's all very nicely molded actually. Here's our uh, spring leaf suspension, rear axle. Here's our pedal box. And uh, some engine pulleys. There's the transmission. We've got our dashboard. An instrument panel here. All nice details. Molding quality is actually pretty good. I'm not seeing a lot of flashing or mold lines. Here's the uh, firewall for our um, engine bay, radiator supports here, rear uh, part of our rear bumper, I guess, and then uh, steering rack there. Uh, here we've got our um, supports here, the lower supports. We've got. Uh, not sure what that's for. Maybe that's a part of our steering steering mechanism. The fan shroud and radiator there. Here's our exhaust and muffler system. 
all nicely molded. With two hoods here, depending on which version you're going to build. And our central console distributor cap there. We've got our uh, steering wheel, steering column. And we've got some red lights, I guess, for the back. Let's have a look at these uh, sprues over here. As you can see, we've just got a lot of pieces here. And we've got some more. These are the backs of the wheels. More wheels there. And we've got our uh, fan. More engine parts here for the air intake, exhaust parts there, and the engine parts is our main engine block. And the exhausts here. We've got a uh, look there. We've got a uh, roll bar and uh, other engine parts here. So I guess it depends on what engine you want to build. And more wheel parts. This is the uh, wider wheel there. So let's have a look at our decals and instructions. These are very nicely printed decals with some uh, nice details there. Okay, here are the instructions. We've got some details there about the car. Those are the colors needed. So, depending on which version you're going to build, that's the stock engine there. There's the uh, racing engine there. And that's the stock version for the uh, cockpits. There's the racing version for the cockpits. And uh, this is also for our um, dashboard and seats. Same thing for stock and race. Now I'm going to build the uh, glass inside of our body and then we mount everything onto our uh, chassis and then uh, the engine bay is being built with our radiator support now we've got our exhaust system that's for the stock and uh, street version and then the front uh, supports for the suspension and then rear axle, drive shaft and suspension for the stock here's for the race version. Now we've got our tires, and that's for the street version, here's for the racing version. And again you can also do the drag ones if you want. And then we've got the front grille and uh, exhausts, rear grille and uh, lights. Uh, one more page here. Front hood and all the extra little pieces that go along with the engine bay. Lots of pieces and then the racing version. So here's our painting and decal guide. That's for the stock or street version. I think I'm going to do the racing version. Lots of little decals there. So all in all, actually fairly well molded. Good level of detail and some nice decals.